We have an amazing testimony. Okay, let's hear it. Because of time, let's let's hear it. Come, 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 come. So, Prophet, this young lady is from Tampa. Uh -huh. We did Revelation Nights Miami. She made the trip down to Miami. Yes. To make a long story short, when you looked at her, all you told her was that when she goes to the doctors, they will have a different report. Amen. Now let her give the rest of the testimony. Yes. That morning, Prophet was a revelation night. I was actually at a doctor's appointment that morning at 11 a.m. I heard the, the Holy Spirit speak to me and tell me to go to Miami. And of course, I had doubt in my ear, but I drove, got in my car, went to Miami, and made it there about 4 p.m. And I thought I was crazy. I made a sign that said, I don't have a ticket, but I'm here 100% on faith. I'm battling stage 4 colon cancer. And, and, and the f I got to Miami at 4.48 p.m., I get to the parking garage across from the James L. Knight Center, and the first person I asked when I get out of my car had an extra ticket. The young lady tells me, the young lady tells me, the young lady tells me, my husband had an ailment in his foot, and he couldn't make it. He didn't want to walk around the James L. Knight Center. I said, ma'am, because that ticket was meant for me, because God told me that morning to be there. And I was not only there at 5 p.m., God made a way for me to be towards the front, and Prophet Papa Lo laid his hands on me. And a couple of weeks later, I was only there to get healing because a friend of mine told me the day before, I never even heard of him until the day before Revelation night. <laughs> and I was having surgery. I was having three major operations on my organs because of cancer. I had metastasized to other areas. And I just got my pathology report recently from the doctors. No residual carcinoma. Cancer, and they found zero. All, all margins of carcinoma. I just want to remind all you guys that are going through something, whether it's pain, loss, suffering, divorce, financial, cancer, just allow that season to bring a reason to bring you closer to Christ. I love, I love cancer patients I'm ministering to right now. I want you to know that I knew what the devil meant for me. God was going to turn it to the greater good. Oh, each of y'all, hallelujah, each of y'all, as long as you follow Jesus and love him with your entire heart and your entire soul, he will make a way for you. Just continue to follow him and don't only go through it, you grow through it, you grow through it with Jesus because he loves each and every one of y'all with all of his heart. Oh. Wow. Thank you, Papa Lo. Thank you so much. Never thank me. Thank him first. No, but I followed. I followed my heart, and I know that Jesus spoke to me. And if it wasn't for you being so faithful to listening to the Word of God, Amen. I wouldn't be in the position that I am Amen. today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me. It's things like this that helps me to endure whatever persecution. Amen. Because the more we can prove that Jesus is alive and people's lives can be given back, that's all that matters to me. Amen. All glory will always belong to Jesus Christ Amen. who lives forever and ever and ever. Amen.